<laughs> That'll be our bulwark planking. All right, Ruth, what are you up to? Finishing up step one to adding those four stanchions in. Last time, we crossed off a major piece of the engine assembly, the thrust bearing. Everything's been greased and oiled, but there's still many pieces to this puzzle. As we're still gathering parts and figuring out exactly how we want to lead, mount, and connect said parts, the sun is shining, and we no longer want to be trapped down below. So what project is going to get us outside? Yesterday, I cleaned and painted the bottoms where the compound is, where the bulwark posts go through the deck. So today, I am sanding. I've already finished the starboard side, and I'm about to switch on down to the port side, but lightly sanding them so that we can re-oil them. Um, it's been non-stop raining, but this last week has just been beautiful. I have a little sunburn on my back. It feels awesome. Um, so it's really nice to do some of this little light maintenance stuff while we've got the weather. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, they were getting super dark so it's nice to see them uh, back to being bright and really pretty. down 14 more to go it's pretty exciting doing normal boat maintenance I mean the boat is still very much a work in progress and we're still very much building her um, but getting just to touch up on bright work is uh, sort of a nice change to the rough construction also a little bit irritating I think for Garrett because he likes doing this stuff but his head is still so full with everything else that's still yet to be built on the boat that doing this kind of monotonous stuff just um, takes up too much time. <laughs> uh, but that's where I come in and I don't mind doing it so much. It's nice to have the sun. Between the tortoise and the hare, the tortoise wins, right? But the snail eventually gets there too. While I got to work on deck, Garrett was down below, thinking. Much of his day can be spent this way. No visual or physical proof of his labor. A job I appreciate, but do not envy. All right, what's on the menu, Russ? We've got awesome hunks of salmon that were like six bucks each. And Brussels sprouts, onion, garlic, and mushrooms. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Just about ready to dip that one. <laughs> Thanks for cooking. Yeah. <laughs> and our awesome little table for now. <laughs> Great. Alright, that's a good hearty meal after a hard day's work. 
Whoa! <laughs> Let there be light. Nice. Oh, oh it smells so good. <laughs> Wee! All right, let's eat. <laughs> so that project that's gonna get us outside. A little cramped back there, huh? Yeah. Required first, work in the tightest bases below deck. There will be a lot of room back here. <laughs> Once we use up all that plywood. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright, there's your yoga for the day. Yeah. <laughs> so today will be our first fun day of cutting into some of our stock. That will be for the bulwark planking. We have to add four stanchions, two in the back that we didn't do when we did the rest of the stanchions, and then two more in the front that will be on either side of the bowsprit. Took the bevels for all that, and we're just about ready to open up our brand new uh, table saw. So hopefully we'll have a pretty good operation going on today. Hey Ruth, can you find me my square? Your square? Yeah, there's a little metal square. Yeah. Was not this one, right? Oh, okay. We've had the stanchions for the new bulwarks in for nearly a year. So we're kind of skipping the interior and engine for now, but really getting back to a project we've been wanting to complete since we launched. Oh, look at her. She is a beauty. Oh yeah, swabbers. What do you think? Well, we came over to my parents and we're really excited to start cutting up our stock for the bulwark planking, but uh, some weather rolled in. I think we've missed our cutting opportunity. It was bright and sunny like 20 minutes ago. You can see it, it's over there. But then all this. Our energy and motivation is feeling really good. Red Aviva has definitely clouded our minds at times, but we're refocusing on the goal, to get sailing. The original dream included ship bulwarks, and the first time we did them, they were more decorative than anything that would keep you on board and feeling safe. So Garrett was happy last year to rip them out and using tough black locust, redo the stanchions. We wanted to wait till the boat was floating before planking. So here we are with a better mindset, better tools, and ready to do things right. All right, so we're take two, and it is beautiful today. Perfect for cutting wood. Table saw is pretty pretty. So we're using the stand from our old jet table saw that we're pretty convinced is cursed. <laughs> we got the jet table saw off Craigslist uh, in Portland when we were up in that area and we're pretty sure that the wife of the guy we bought it from probably put a curse on it because he was woodworking too much and building a fence and you know she wanted to have his company again or something like that so pretty pretty sure it's cursed it's never really quite worked the way we wanted to we've also put it through a lot but uh even from the beginning it would bog down just cutting a two by four sometimes <laughs> Uh, a couple quick measurements to figure out with all the various widths that we have um, what a good kind of general size for the bulwark planks are going to be. Um, see the widest stuff we got is about nine and three eighths. Um, and thinnest stuff about three and a half. 
I don't really want to completely max it out, but I can get pretty close. You know how to break in your tools right, huh? Uh -huh. So max Maximum! <laughs> is three and an eight. So, I mean, I can certainly cut three inch. But, I don't know, you want to help me think about this real quick? Mm -hmm. So, on all of these, I mean, minimum, you're going to have to burn an eighth just to get rid of that rounded edge. Yeah. Um, so, I could get three three inches out of here, out of the big ones. So, let's see. So, real quick. Only... Yeah. The plan is to leave them an inch wide or an inch thick and then three inches wide and that'll be the planking for the bulwarks. Yeah, so the plan is all these wider boards we're gonna come in. So I'll show you on this one. So we're gonna come in and cut it into whatever our widths are for our planks for the bulwarks. And then once we cut it down to the width, we're gonna flip it up on edge, and then we're gonna cut it down to one inch thick. Because this is all inch and a half stock, and we don't need inch and a half planking for our bulwarks. After some deliberating, we arrived at our original estimate, one by three inch planks. The offcuts can still be used either on interior trim or for the deck planking. Feeling really satisfied with our new tool purchase left us wondering why we hadn't done this years ago. measuring and some figuring out because listen I'd be pretty surprised if this isn't enough to do the bulwarks yeah all right so we've restacked our stack and we've done the first cut on all of the boards our first cut was to get a clean edge on all the boards then cut again to get three inch wide planks and final cut to bring them down to an inch thick. After lunch, we cranked some numbers to see if we had enough stock. Nine for 20 footers? Nine and these are the individual planks, not okay. just the boards. Got it, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four tallies for 16s. First layer. So now we just need to figure out our lengths and staggering the butts and how many runs we're going to need. Alright, so sparing you all the nitty gritty, this is what we've come up with. We've got six runs per starboard, port and starboard. And so that's 18 planks per side with what we've milled up that leaves us with five extra eight foot planks just in case something snaps hopefully we'll be able to use them or it'll be for the transom bulwark planking And 
and uh, 41 more to go. So this is what you don't want to find. Look at that guy. Look at him. Little bastard. Crawling in sideways. I'm usually a pacifist, but don't eat my wood. <laughs> All, right. All right. So these, yeah. So we cut these two, and you can see little bits. We were wondering if we were gonna find some. All right. Well, we only got to phase two. Yeah. So. Long day yeah. of ripping. But got, I mean, probably the majority of it done. Yeah. Now we just have to do one more pass to bring it down to one inch thickness. Yeah, I think we ended up with 38 boards since we found that worm in the other three. Yeah. So. 38 boards, one more pass, <laughs> and yep, <laughs> that'll be our bulwark planking. But it's Longer. Friday, it's Friday, so we won't cut on the weekends, so Monday, if it's not raining, we'll finish it up. One down? One down. So now I need to move all the junk. Back over to the other right side. side to that side. <laughs> 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 So we lucked out today and the weather is actually like perfect working weather. We might get some rain later this evening, so we'll have to stop after we cut the holes for the four additional bulwark posts and pick it back up tomorrow, where Garrett will then uh, caulk around the base of the post and then put the uh, Cicaflex compound over top of it. And then uh, we might have to wait for that to cure a day still. I guess it kind of depends more on our patients. We probably should. Um, but either later on Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll actually get to start putting planks on the bulwark posts. So this is uh, step one. And the other day I cleaned and sanded all of the posts down so they are nice and oiled up. So then I'll probably do the same on those four additional posts. And then soon we'll have full bulwarks. regret leaving those uh, frames full. <laughs> I actually cut them down from a lot from what I initially was going to do them so that I could fit them in like that. <laughs> they were going to be even longer. So no, it went exactly according to plan. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> Putting in the forward two posts proved to be a little bit of a contortionist act, schmeagling around our first set of frames, which were left wide because of their story. On the port side, you can see the numbers, and starboard reveals the underside, complete with bubblegum. Yes, in their previous life, these frames were high school bleachers. Um, further forward, towards the stem, towards the stem, put your hand towards the stem, thank you. The cramped part was almost over. We still have to fasten them in, but after cleaning up the edges and making sure the angle of the hole was ready for cotton, Garrett got to take a break while I... All right, Ruth, what are you up to? Mm -hmm. Finishing up step one to adding those four stanchions in and uh, saturating it all with epoxy. So uh, just sealing up all the ingrain of the plywood where the stanchions go through the deck. Just make sure in the future, if we ever get little leaks, that the plywood won't wick it up. Try to just, do every little thing to prevent rot in the future. So Garrett did some measuring and we're pretty sure that six runs of planking will uh, reach the tops and again we left them a little bit tall so that way we can cut the right angle and then once the tops of the posts are cut then cap rail will finish off the bulwarks and then uh, we'll pretty much just get starboard and port in and then we might hold off on getting the transom kind of planked out because there's some more decisions to make on how the tiller is going to come through them and uh, but yeah we've got a bunch of eight foot pieces to do the transom too. Feels really good to be working outside. Uh, starting to feel spring is fully here so we're ready, we're feeling relaxed, motivated and ready to pump out some on deck projects. Yeah. Up next. All right, we're back at it today, and Garrett is kind of rough sanding up the stanchions now. The epoxy looks like it's uh, dried up really nicely. Yeah, so we're ready to put in these four, and then after the compound's on there, dry for the day, planks up tomorrow. <laughs>